Welcome back everyone, Phoenix3 here, and I'm going to be talking about some more Pokemon Tournament stuff, but rather than talk about the um, the local multiplayer, uh, I guess, issue, I wanted to talk about the reason why I like Pokemon Tournament and the reason why I think it'll do well. The main thing is, fighting games nowadays are not as technical as they once were. I mean, if you look at Super Smash Bros. for Wii U and 3DS, the game obviously has been dumbed down a lot since uh, Melee. Um, so we have other technical fighters like uh, Mortal Kombat X as a recent game. I'm not really going to say um, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 because the game's not really recent, but... A lot of the newer fighting games that's not Mortal Kombat X is a lot less technical. Um, Tekken 7, for example, is not as technical as Tekken Tag Tournament 2 was. The Harada said he didn't expect that game to be as technical as it was. So we're seeing a lot of aspects come out of the game for, for that series, making it more accessible to players who aren't just the hardcore when we look at uh, killer instinct the uh, the remake right now they are just now introducing an easier combo system where you pretty much just push a button on the uh, controller and your character does the entire combo so instead of having to do like quarter circle um, a or whatever the Xbox controller scheme is and doing all the manual inputs you'll just do like quarter circle whatever and then just keep pushing a a a a a and then your character perform those moves and the reason that i like poking tournament so far is because it's not a, a super technical fighter you don't have to remember these exceptionally large uh combo lists with every single character and expect to have to do those in order to win you don't have to do that here the game is pretty simple the moves are straightforward and they break down all the characters in different character archetypes like you have some characters that naturally combo well and those will be the ones that those players who want to get those large meaty combos can actually uh, play with you got people who can don't really know combos but they can still play the game anyway and I'm kind of I'm kind of in that group as well because while I can do some pretty large combos with characters, like my execution on combos is uh, not as great as like me from Tekken, for example. But um, this, this this game offers a lot to the players and doesn't really hold your hand at the same time, which is kind of an odd combination because usually games hold your hand too much, like Super Smash Bros. for Wii U. But this game here, you still have the freedom that you want to do to do these combos. Like, if you want to do large combos with a character like Suicune, you can do them. If you don't want to do large combos with a character like Suicune, you don't have to do them. And it doesn't affect your gameplay at all. That's the reason that I like this game. You don't feel pressured um, to have to do well. Like, if you want to play in a tournament, you can play in a tournament. And you don't have to worry about losing to somebody because they landed more combos than you did. You can simply just play your game how you want to play it and still do well. The main aspect that I'm leaning towards the Pokemon Tournament is it removes a lot of the salt factor from the handheld Pokemon games. Like when you're having a Pokemon battle with somebody, like in the traditional games, there are a lot of things that you can't control. And a lot of time when you do lose, it's hardly your fault. You know, maybe you switched in your Latias into a, a Thunderbolt to take the hit, and then you get paralyzed. And then you lose because, well, you just lost probably your best Pokemon to use against that, and now it's crippled. Um, you might take a critical hit. Um, your attack might not do the maximum damage that it can. I mean, there are a lot of factors that go against you. And largely, a large amount of time, if you looked at any of the recent VGC battles teams often look the same because these are the best Pokemon to use in that field. Pokemon Tournament eliminates all of that. No Pokemon has an advantage over another 
I mean, sure, the Pokemon in this game have different HP values, but it doesn't play that big a role as in, you know, losing a battle to somebody because their Mega Manetric had 405 speed and your fastest Pokemon was like 330 and you just couldn't hit it before it hits you and knocked you out. You know, none of that's here. This game is actually going to bring skill back to the Pokemon series as a whole, which is something that I've always wanted. That's just one of the reasons why I do like Pokemon Tournament, and I think it's going to do well. It gives the players the ability to pick the Pokemon that they like, learn that Pokemon, and fight against other stuff. Like, you'll never be able to see a Weavile fight a, a Machamp and win. That'll never happen in the main game series if both of them were on equal terms. But in this game, that can happen. The Weavile can totally beat the Machamp. The Machamp can beat the Weavile. It's just, just how a fighting game is supposed to be. The big, um, the big thing that I think Pokemon Tournament has in just going into, uh, I guess, the next generation of fighters is that it is an extremely different fighter. Like, you really can't say Pokemon Tournament plays like any other fighting game out there. Sure, there are influences from all of these other fighting games, like, there's Tekken in this, there's Street Fighter in this. We, we see those things. But the, the game is colorful, which is something I can't say about most fighters. The game is it is it's, it's surprisingly fast paced. And the uh, balancing of the game makes it seem like every character can do well against another character. Even though matchups are a thing here, the game does feel really balanced in that you really don't have to pick the best character in the game in order to win. The game's still early right now, but that can change at any given point in time. Over on the Pokemon Arena forums, we're discussing possible tier lists based on what we know about the game now. Might not be the best time to do it, but you know we ain't got nothing else to do for right now, so that's what we're doing. Um, and the one thing that I did want to talk about, or just a little bit, is a possible demo for this game. Like, this game has already been out in Japan for about a year now. They've had the chance to play it. The only chance Americans had to play this game is if we went to Japan to play it, or you happened to be at the World Championships last year, and you got to play the game that way. Since we know this game is going to be on a Wii U, they should just go ahead and release a demo for the game and give us the ability to play it. The demo should probably just have four Pokemon in it. Just give us Machamp, Lucario, Gardevoir, and Pikachu. And just let us play the game so we can get a feel for how the game is supposed to work. I would even argue, say, release the game as it is right now on, as a demo. But charge like maybe $10, $15 for it. So that way, the company can still make money. They can gauge the interest in the game. And we can play it until the final version comes out. Because I really hate just having to watch videos of gameplay when I could just be playing the game myself. And I really want to play this game. So I want them to think about releasing either a partial demo of what the arcade version is. With like four Pokemon in it. Just let us play online. Let us play the game. So that way we can give feedback to the game. And they can add or um, remove things from the final version of the game. While still giving us a chance to play it. Or just release the arcade version as is, as a demo for the Wii U, and just put a price tag on it. Like I said, 10 maybe $15. So that way, those of us who want to play the full, or what's out there now, we can still play that game. And still give our feedback while having access to other characters as well, and testing them out. You know, all of us, we're eager to start breaking this game down, figuring out its secrets, learning the frame data of characters, who has the best matchup against who, and just learning all of the the juicy stuff about the game. But as it stands right now, we still gotta wait like three, four months before the game even comes out. But you know, Japan still has access to the game and I just really wanna play this game. But anyway, that's basically what I had on my mind for that stuff. I was kinda want to get that out there you know why I think the game will do well and that's the reasons it'll do well I mean it's a Pokemon game 
it's going to do well anyway. But it's a Pokemon fighting game, and it's something a lot of us wanted. And we're finally getting that, and then we get to beat down Pikachu. That's all I want to do. I just want to beat Pikachu, Pikachu's face in, so. Um, yeah, if you guys like this video, then please um, subscribe to my channel. And be sure to like this video here. Leave your comments in the comment section below if you have any. And as always, I want to thank you guys for taking time to watch my videos. And I hope to see you all in the next one.